You ever just logged into two different applications that you were going to do a review on and they both had you update the software? Oh, you don't have to deal with those problems? Oh, these are very much productivity app YouTuber first world problems. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, no, they totally are. Regardless, I'm going to compare two different applications today that are making waves in the daily planner app community. We got routine. We got Flow. What's better? I don't know. I just review things up here like a stooge. No, but in all seriousness, there are a lot of really cool things about these different softwares. Namely, I really like the fact that you know, Flow has a command bar and routine has a command bar. So if I go shift space here on routine, I can create a task and I can put it in the inbox. I can create and postpone it to this week. So let's uh, do a little take out the trash inbox task. When I do something like that, it'll go right to this inbox. And then I can quickly and easily, as you'll see, the inbox is your second memory storing all your tasks, thoughts and ideas. You can control A to complete it. Oh, guess it's done. I guess I'll undo that really quick. I can control S to schedule it, which is very short and convenient. So if I click control S, it'll then bring up this command bar. Okay, when do I want to do it? How about on a Tuesday? And then it'll say, well, what Tuesday? And I'll be like, well, thank you for asking. I wanted to do it on <laughs> November 22nd. And then if we look within the calendar, it'll pop right in there. And there's a lot of very similar functionality that you have with Occiflow as well. So for example, if we right click on this, you can see all the different options that Occiflow has. You can move things to the inbox with a shortcut. You can duplicate with a shortcut. So if I go control I, S moves to inbox and it'll pop in right here. And if I wanted to schedule it, it's actually an option to just press P and then it'll be like, hey, what do I do now? Okay, like their try, let's do today. And then we go back to today, things right in here. It's very convenient shortcut wise in this application. I can even just press on this and then click O and it'll open up the link itself in Notion to this integration. Now I'll get into integrations in a second, but that just showcases to you the very quick functionality that exists within Occuflow. The label system is very nice. This whole sidebar here has a bunch of different organizational capabilities that you don't quite have within routine yet. But what you do see when you go within a task like this is something a little bit different. So this is actually a nice markdown functionality that almost has a page view within the different items within routine. So if you go within any of the items uh, or tasks within here, yeah, you can do a little bit of uh, description writing, which is very similar to a lot of things. You can you add labels, which is convenient, but you, you you can't quite do this sort of markdown typing. So you'll see here, if I delete everything, it gives you some ideas, you know, embed a photo, video, add subtasks. So that just is a quick template for it. But what this really has is if you do backslash, all these different options, some quick divider things, very similar to what you have in Notion, um, very baseline, but similar. And that's not something that you have with an flow. So that's something to point out. Now, also what your routine has, which is a little bit different is a pages section, which kind of reminds me of what like OneNote used to be like on the left over here. And that's different. You know, they're trying to do daily planner with note taking, which I find intriguing, which I'm like, what? They, they actually have a journal section over here where you're going to take notes. And, and their goal is not necessarily to have what like an flow has, where it's more of a scheduling and task situation. So for example, if I press A, I can create slots. And what I do is like, say example, I want someone to set a meeting with me. I can copy this link and send it out in an email. And what that would do is it will allow me to have a person schedule a time with me. So let's see what happens when I actually click on this. It would allow the person to select a time with me in that date range. Now it's me. I don't have time available there. I'm busy, but you'll see it looks like Calendly and has this set up within here. And that's not something that routine has. And to be fully honest, routine is sort of in a beta state right now. So it doesn't have nearly as many integrations. Um, if we go here to this section, we'll see that it does have Notion, it does have Zapier, and it does allow you to connect to the Google Workspace directory for context and whatnot. But Occiflow, on the other hand, a lot more stuff. This is all within it. You can also use Gmail, Slack, Asana, Todoist, Trello, there's Notion, there's Zoom, there's ClickUp, there's obviously Zapier, and there are a myriad of other integrations that can be used within Zapier. But here's my thing. You're not going to compare integrations on a beta versus a fully done application. You're not going to compare those because we don't know what the integrations look look like with routine moving forward. I will say that the beta of routine is really aesthetically pleasing. The mobile app's cool. It looks like it has good legs to stand on. However, Occiflow is probably the best daily planner app on the market for a lot of people right now. Uh, I, I think it's hard to compete with them outside of Sansama. They, it, it's snappy. It's quick. They're behind in the mobile app department. Hopefully they'll get moving forward with that. But they've even started to implement some daily planning sequences like Asana has here. And while I don't really care for rituals, I think I, it's fine. I don't really need a daily plan and daily shutdown. It is kind of cute that they do that. And overall, this just feels a little snappier than routine. If you're looking to find the best daily planner app, I would probably go for Rocky for Sansama. But if you want to get on that waiting list for routine, I mean, why not? It might be really good in the future. What will be good right now, though, is if you check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.